Okay, Concepts uh, 7. It's all about paper space. So the first thing I've done is I've opened up my viewport toolbar. I've opened up Carrie's living room drawing that we looked at today. And I have renamed it Carrie, so don't worry. I have made a few changes uh, for this demo. I've added a light in the middle of your living room, although I know you don't have one. So here's Carrie's drawing over in model space. This is where we're used to drawing. Uh, but for the first time, we're going to utilize uh, paper space, which is also called layout space. Now you can see that Carrie has put a title block right here in her model space. And if w she were to print to our printer here in room 201, and if she printed the limits at a quarter inch scale, uh, this would all work out nicely. But there's a limited uh, amount of printing that you can do here because you can set up to print a quarter inch here on your limits, but you have to take things in and out of this title block to get it right. A paper space will give us more flexibility as you're going to see. So I'm going to go over to layout space right now. And by default, I have this one rectangle here. It's called a viewport. A viewport, uh, when you're in a paper space here, and notice that I can click on the status bar to change between model space and paper space. When I am in paper space, I can take this viewport and I can move it if it's selected. And I can get grips and I can size it. I can do those two things. I can also scale this viewport. Number one mistake people make though is to scale it you need to be in model space. When you're in model space one clue is that this viewport frame gets very thick and heavy. You also see your XY uh, coordinate logo here you see model written here on the status bar. You can toggle between those two here. You can also change between them by double clicking outside of the viewport or double clicking inside the viewport. will also toggle you between paper and model. So I'm in model space right now and I'm going to center her drawing in the viewport and in model space I can put a scale on here. So usually you come down here and we're going to put a quarter inch scale. So you can see my frame isn't big enough to have both of these but that's okay because right now I only want the plan and I'm actually going to right click on this layout and rename it so that I know what I have on here. So this is the plan view. Now I'm going to come back to paper space, which is when I can size this. I'm going to get rid of the elevation out of that viewport. And he, now I have just the plan and I can move that viewport and center it on my page. And I'm going to take this frame of the viewport and I'm going to put it on the viewport layer, which I had you guys make uh, for future purposes. So now it's on the viewport layer. I'm also going to go into the manager and find my viewport layer. It's right here. And I'm going to click this printer, which means do not plot this layer. Do not print it. It's another way of getting something not to print, but without turning it off. So I'm going to say OK. Now, while I'm in paper, I'm going to bring in a different title block. This title block over here is too big. It's like 40 feet wide. It's designed uh, for model space. But over here in plan view, I have a title block that I already made in a drawing in model space and set up my limits for 8.5 by 11 and uh, designed it all for those limits and now I'm about to insert it. And I'm going to insert it as a block. I'm going to browse for it. Double click on it. By default it asks you to specify on screen. 
if you do that you have to be savvy enough to know that when you click OK that you need to now type in 0 comma 0 enter so I'm going to just undo that and insert it again this is what I recommend is to just let it do that work it'll put it in where it belongs at the 0 0 by default this is not checked but I do need it exploded so I'm going to put the check in and say OK and if you've used it once you may get this message and that's fine just say yes and there's my title block now I'm in paper space it came in on paper space that's what I want I have made a title block layer I'm going to switch it over to that and you would be now editing this title into living room plan you would take your name which is all set up with the right spacing so just select exactly over the letters put your name in edit the date the scale actually is a quarter inch so we're all set the viewport is programmed not to print through the layers manager as I showed you right here and so if we were to preview this now you would see that the viewport isn't showing now it's not quite centered so let's move it over a little bit and we simply when we're in paper space the viewport can just be moved over you can preview it and get it right now let's go to the second one and we'll rename it we're going to call it elevation and say OK make it active it comes in I think I've already been here and put this title block on but pretend it's not there here's my viewport let's put it on the viewport layer and I have the elevation set up here but you know we have a lot of space this I believe is in quarter inch scale now be aware that if my model space is active and I do any kind of zooming I have lost the scale you don't even know it until you go out into paper space and come back and there it's gone so if you need to keep that scale you might want to lock it this is how you lock it in paper space click the viewport right click on it and say yes and you will see that when you're in model space that the scale for this viewport is now grayed out so you can't access it you can though in paper space still move the viewport around and you can still size the viewport but you can't change the scale of it which is handy so again you would insert the block and you would whoops, insert block say OK hmm, why isn't it coming in? okay maybe I had the wrong block so it's just come in you would edit all of that but in this case you know this is a pretty little tiny picture so you know I do want to change the scale of this so I'm going to make the viewport bigger I cannot change the scale until I again right click and say no don't lock it then I'm going to try a half inch scale and I need to be in model space for that to take effect and there it is you can see it doesn't quite fit so I need to go into paper space and make this a little bit bigger and I don't think we can have it's a very tight squeeze to get all this in in a half an inch so I think I would reconsider I'll go back into model you know that a quarter inch is pretty standard if I wanted it to be bigger I could go to this one in between three eighths and that one works for me but you need to remember that it usually is a quarter inch and if we're keeping that we need to then modify this three eighths 
OK. OK, let's do a new layout. We can right click, click New Layout. It's going to be two plans. A plain furniture, no, let's just do the wall layout and an electrical layer. So new layout and we'll rename. This will be two plans just to keep it simple. Let's go to the two plans layer. Here's one viewport. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see it. I want to put one plan in here at a quarter inch. And there's my one plan. And just adjust it. Put this up here. Now I want another viewport. Double click it to make that active. Make it a quarter inch. There, I have two plans. Now, if I want one of these plans to show the electric work and but not the other one, if I turn my electrical layer off, I have a problem because it turns off in both. So that's not the solution. So I need to do something here. I need to decide if I want the electrical layer to be not to show in this lower plan, I need to make this viewport active. So I double click on it and I come here into my layers and in the electrical layer here in the current uh, viewport I'm going to freeze it and say, well I could say apply and OK. And now you can see how it is that you can take a viewport and have a layer not show and yet on the same page have that electrical layer show. So I haven't turned it off. I've just uh, done what I showed you. Make this one active and then come in here and in the current viewport freeze that particular lighting layer and that will do it for you. One other thing you might notice is that when I'm in model space over here, uh, LT scale, let's see what Carrie has. She has 10 and it shows up. And over here in paper space, uh, because it's a bit of a different system, this LT scale doesn't work over here. So now uh, we have to type in LT scale and it's usually less than one that works. So you can see if I put it at 0.5, uh, it now is displaying this dashed line correctly here, which is where we print from. So you have this choice. Do you want to see it in paper space as it would print and not in model space? or do you want to see in model space, uh, we set what will work in model space, it doesn't show in paper space. So you need to make a decision. I'm going to try 0.75. That's too big. I'll try 0.3 and that looks good for me. That's how I want it to display. So at this point I would also insert my title block and and continue on.